Ladies and gentlemen, we're back this week with the new Just TV, and it's a special episode because we have our first, very first guest. Slav. So Slavko is uh, one of our oldest friends. He's um, one of the reasons why we started making music, why we started the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's been from at least my beginning of music, like from the no, early no, no, Vegas no, 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 scene no, days. <laughs> Guys, not reason he started making music. He was making music <laughs> way before me. He fucked that. But electronic music, yeah. Let's, yes. Let's, let's, yeah. Uh, so, so he introduced so me to. I, uh, I'm gonna try to like. Yeah. Well, what, relax what, what, the situation yeah. here because <laughs> you guys are so good without guests. And this, I, it's, guess. I think, it's I think this is the last time we're gonna have a guest because I don't like guests. It's too much pressure. Like the, the, there's it's audience. Answer is right there. Right? Yeah. So I'm gonna try to be like it's my podcast. I no no no. But we're actually, it, honestly, isn't it kind of? I don't think we're gonna end up using this, but this is just no. This is perfect. I what think we will about? end up using. <laughs> it. We, we gotta, we gotta use this. This is it. No, no. It's gold, back. Jerry. It's we're gold. Going, we're going forward. This is it. No, this I is. Think you're great. There's no stopping. You guys either. are overthinking it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're talking to the guy yeah. in the back. You can't see him right now, but he is our buddy. He's our, he's our <laughs> sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add a loud clap sound effect. <laughs> the sound dude. Yeah, we are. We just. Uh, like I said, it's the first time we have a guest, so it's a little trip. Yeah, it's okay. weird. I don't like it. The way so, so actually, what I want to talk about is your journey, like in uh, and your role in the Vegas music scene. Oh, in the Vegas music scene, yeah. <laughs> which, which you think it's uh, not big, but like you know, I think you have actually like a big role, like in like a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I, I mean, no, no, like we can, we can go back like briefly. Yeah, I, like, I just, I kind of like wanna like. It's kind of tough for me to see myself as something, you know, that 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 is whatever you are trying to kind of in, mm -hmm. in, imply, um, in, like an influence or something. I mean, we spend a lot of time doing stuff and music, mm -hmm. and, and I was influencing you, I, and I know that, and you yeah. said that many times. Well, no, no, like so, but we did. I did. I was a part of you know organizing events. And I know, you know, that, that, I, like, I, like I want to, I want to get I hope there. That people took what from what I played, and they liked what I played, and that it was inspiration mm -hmm. for some others and and stuff. Um, I guess you're in a way right, right? Yeah. But I just don't like. I never looked at it that way. Well, even even the last song, like the last EP we had, was because yeah. of you. Out of your mind, like we kind of sat on yeah. that song, and because you like you dug through our SoundCloud and you saw potential in it, so then we put it out. Mm -hmm. and it's kind of our best song lately. Well, uh, I mean, I, I I like your guys' shit. It's kind of I don't know how to really like. Um, um, describe the, the 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 way about it right it's you know like people call it bias maybe right you can be biased towards somebody that you're a fan of yeah of, of things that they do or whatever so maybe that's that's a part that plays a role in it but i always yeah, was a, a fan of music that mm -hmm. you guys would make so every time you make a track i would play it and play it and play it and it it just sounded good i don't mm -hmm. know and it's also at the, at the you know, at the same time, it wasn't really the best thing because it would cloud my sort of uh, maybe judgment at times because I would be too biased, right? And mm -hmm. maybe I would push to things on, on, on in, in places or whatever, mixes or whatever, that maybe not be the place for them or whatever, just to showcase you guys' art and music and my when I would play out and stuff. But at the same time, it was good. There's a lot of good music. You guys made ton of ton of good music. I still feel to this day there is a lot of really good. There's good melodies. There's good uh, emotions stuff. There's good, you know, you know, even technical stuff. There's good, absolutely good writing. Like mm -hmm. you can write the shit yeah. out of music. He's he's an amazing writer. And you can really a little more technical shit go into storytelling with it. Like you can just go with it. Yeah. You storytell and you write. The, the shit you know mm -hmm. yeah and so i know it's good but like i said right so at the times and then you need to step away that's that's a really mm -hmm. big part of things you have to step away from things and then i was able to step away not able you know kind of in a way I, I i went that direction because of work and i went stepped away from music in, in a way completely right and then you come back and you realize and you see even better and clearer Absolutely. You know, um, how things are, where things are. And then you yourself, like you have, <clears throat> like I have way different. Now, if I went to sit down and make music with you guys, it's, it's a way different kind of a 
um, what drives me and, and what what influences me in a way to to, mm. to for that song and how I see it completed and where it's like a finished product mm. than it was before when when um, when I was so deep into it if mm. that makes any kind of sense yeah so so I I want to go back actually just to give like a little background when we first started doing music together we started a a record label called Bass Nuts. Yes. So pretty much like, um, I mean, we didn't have like a lot of uh, like artists, like just. Uh, Actually, we had quite a bit of artists. <laughs> I think. If let we me just say this is for, since this is a podcast, going to go out there, it's going to record, and it's going to be put up there. You know, for um, we had a we had we had <clears throat> probably ten artists at least, and that's. Yeah. For a label, for a small label, for for indie label, uh, from from you know a little town, <laughs> Vegas. And I, I feel like way, that, like this was village. like in the, like in the beginning when like there was like no like electronic music scene like in Vegas. Like it was like kind of like the beginning of the you know what I mean? Like it was just starting up. Which year yeah, was Bass Nuts? Sure, yeah. 2013. So Bass Nuts was confusing because yeah, we it was like twelve. We started at 12, 2012. Same time I started business. We started business. We started the Epic Entertainment. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll, like, so yeah. I'll, 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 I'll get to that. that. So, so Bass Nuts is confusing because Bass Nuts was a record label, and when we DJed together, the three of us, we would call ourselves Bass Nuts. Yeah. And we, we, when we release music together, it would be Bass Nuts. So it was like three different things. <laughs> but a little, a little complicated. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. But so we didn't do ourselves a favor. Yeah. Okay. And but at the same time. We got to be known as basements mm-hmm. in at least in our city, and and so, and, and and that led to Slavko, like starting Epic Entertainment with. We w- we did start Epic Entertainment around the too, same time. Some other you know some other folks in town, and then we started doing this you know events. And I think the Epic Entertainment got pretty pretty heavily inspired by the. Um, Jesus fucking Christ! Uh, the, what's the name of the Electro Daisy uh, um, fan, fan uh, uh, Insomniac? Yeah, so Insomniac. Yeah. So it was you know Insomniac doing all this big shit, and and we like wanted to just and uh, and, and around that time, like and, and epic. at some point, you know, we were like dreaming big. We want to grow into Insomniac of some of some you know size because we are so creative. Everybody in the group. Well, in, in the so Vegas scene, like epic parties were like always the best parties. Like you know, yeah, if, if, if you were like in, in the scene, yeah. to be on that, sh- yeah. you know, playing, DJing, whatever, come to the party. We created all this decorations that uh, you know, and, and I'm not talking going to some warehouse hiring somebody to do some stuff where you know we did like our group we put work in it ourselves we were designers we were makeup artists we were you know costume stage every fucking single thing you know and and you guys set a stage the burning man oh yeah we we had the camp we had you know we had a huge dome yeah stage we have boutique it was beats boutique guys and and they they, they've been having i mean it's still going so who who else who 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 else started like like besides you and steve like who, at who, this like, time, I live. Like I live with Slop. At the time right. we just started that, yeah. you know, so it was it was a group of, of us of a very talented <coughs> creators, call ourselves. <laughs> but everybody was super wanting to make things and make things happen. <laughs> Actually, I want to talk. Remember about those guys? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about, about it. Yeah, yeah. This is the kind of shit so, we're at. Yes. Yeah, so so, we so, so, so we signed these kids. Like they sent us amazing demo. The, a best demo we've had, like it was the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool yeah. Ass demo. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, fuck yeah! Like you know, let's sign these guys. Like we're super excited, and uh, what happened next? Uh, well. We sign them. We release it. It's good. It's good music. We it's listen, fucking you know. amazing. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, Too good for, to be true. What is it? 11? Yeah. 14? There were 14? Or 11? Well, how like old six. were they? Six. I don't know. Yeah, so we're like, fuck. Six like, and a half. I, we, <laughs> we're like, it's child labor. <laughs> <laughs> so uh it's mike Skrill- skrillex yeah so we had this amazing <laughs> song and we signed this new act from germany and um as well, soon as we we we, well, well, we put out an song, ep we put an ep out. yeah it was an ep first, yeah, yeah. first it was and, an EP and it was from cool them. it was okay it wasn't okay let's let's pull things back a little bit it was good it was amazing in in thinking that it's these kids they're like fucking kids yeah and that that like, blew my damn. mind thinking of that okay, okay. and 
us being us, you know, we are, we think we're in the thing and we know what's up there and then we'll listen and all this stuff. And, and we do, but then next time around, they sent us another EP. A new and it's demo. like not too long after that, you know, like a demo. And we listened to it and it's a fucking demo from a mix pack. What's, what's, that's no, we, no, 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 no. Yeah, actually, we're, we're uh, I, like, uh, I'm pretty sure we, 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 we actually released the song. And then when we oh, uploaded we had to it, pull it down. we had to pull it down because they had a shit. copyright yeah. issue. <laughs> yeah, the, the, so the, the, these the, little <laughs> kids from Germany, they pretty much just downloaded a song that was already big that we never heard of, sent yeah. it as a demo. Yeah, like, <laughs> and we signed the song. We signed a song that's already out, thinking it's these and, and then, from Germany. And, and let's make this clear, okay? This was signed and released through a major distributor. Distributor. It's on every single fucking dis- channel out there, online, all the stores. So you would think maybe somebody would fucking flag the shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it got flagged when, when, as soon as we tried to upload it. Oh, where on YouTube? On SoundCloud. Oh, and sound. So it took SoundCloud. That's, that's when we knew it took that SoundCloud to flag it. it. Okay, so it wasn't any of the distribution, any of the release, like Beatports and iTunes and all these fuckers. Nobody said a word. Okay, at that time, at least. No, we didn't know. <laughs> Honestly, like that was a pretty good, like, like I would definitely give him props. That was a good prank. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a prank. I but think they, it was a prank. They, I they think pulled they, off. I think they thought they were, they, they were going to get away with it. Yeah. In so we're like, Berlin you know, what, what's up? What's up? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? What do you think? What? Like they didn't yeah, write back. They didn't they write just, back. No, they're they're just, of course they weren't going to write back. Fuck Why was it fuck those? Uh, because it was like they, it's they, already somebody else's they, song. Like yeah. they they took somebody's song and they just put their name on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, it was somebody we haven't heard before. And it, it but anyway, great, so we, we didn't know. We had we had like you know ten tennis artists. I think a lot of local. We had guys. Uh, yeah. quite a bit of local artists, and that's really the intent of the label was yes, to yes. showcase the local. So we, I'm from Bosnia, ex Yugoslavia, same motherfucking thing, mm-hmm. right? You probably heard about Vegas. Yeah, Italian, <laughs> Vegas, Cuban, yeah. all that. Spring Anyways, Valley. But w- we, I felt, me personally, you know, what I brought with me, the, the, the music, the culture, the stuff, everything, all that. I wanted to, at the same time, give back and, and make sure that what I'm doing here is, is involving the people that I'm, I'm doing this around with and for. And, with, you know, it's just, it was important to me and, and I'm sure same with these guys too because we're all at this point I'm fucking local I've, this is the longest I've, I've lived in any of the um, places <laughs> so so we signed a bunch of local guys we worked with a lot of local people wanted to really like build that all, all up and and reason I'm talking all this is because just the story right of where is Baseless now right what the fuck happened um, yeah, Basis was a label underneath a another label. At the time we wanted to open the label, we ourselves didn't have a business, didn't have any of that stuff set up, but we wanted to go on the market right the fuck away. We had friends, connections that already had business set up, and all we needed to do is set up as a sub label underneath their stuff, and we would have distribution in like forty plus online physical medium as well if needed so to us that was huge to do that and we were business owners and everything but it wasn't on our completely on our name so at some point through the journey of base nuts we had to decide to to move things under our name but before any of that happened prior maybe like a year and a half two years prior to that we've just started dealing with issues with the retail the 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 beat port was showing like these charting of the songs of our artists on their top 10 as number ones there were it was showing on on other charts as as you know charting up and then there was no sales and when i would research it says say the the charting is associated with sales not with plays but at the same time that there were no sales registered how I explain to my artist, hey, your shit's charting, but there's no fucking sales. And I can't do any audits of these guys, these big companies without paying a lot of money for what? For like 20 sales, yeah. 10 sales, five sales. You know what? It's not a lot of money. We're in the small label. Okay. So I, at that point, you know, we all just yeah. said, look, we're going to, we're going to scrap 
based on us. We're going to pull everything down, give people all their songs, give them all the money earnings that we can pull, everything, all that. Just stop it for now. Understand how to do this better. All right, Slavko. So I want to switch it up so, a little bit. Like I feel like we've been talking too much about music. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about eating ass? <laughs> Let me just... We okay, put, uh, thank you for bringing this up. Okay. I'm going to say it right now. All right. Because this, for our viewers out there, I really hope that Mike gets rich. Yeah, so both years that we played EDC, we got booked like the... Dash the, like the last second, yeah, it was Phil from Dash Oh, Rats. yeah, it was just one of those. Like, yeah, yeah, so, so <laughs> it's like, oh, you, oh, cool, yeah, let's go. But no, but he came through, like, day he, no, Phil was cool, like, you know, he didn't. No, we, dude, I can't say, yeah, like, enough the, thanks to, to uh, Phil, the, the, to the, the, yeah, that was a big Phil, moment, and also for, to, for uh, to this opportunity to play to on Jeremy on Espinosa. The they have like one of the most amazing art cards yeah. out there, probably, yeah. if I may say so. I think that was a big moment, like, you know, in our, you know, to be able Aren't to, a lot of, yeah, to be able to play DC, like, huge moment. Yeah, yeah, it was huge. What, was but, but like, even the, the, no, no, like, what was crazy, like, both times, like, we got booked, like, first time we went to EDC on Friday night. And, um, you know, we started talking to Phil, you know, who is the main guy from that. Well, so, so we, we like, first time we got booked, we went and the car was like, right. Some sort of in the center between like these three or four stages. And there was like a fire breather shit yes, right in front yes, of it. Yes. So, you know, there's people coming between these stages to take a break in there. So that was so fucking awesome because mm -hmm. it, the, the art car wasn't like somewhere on the side mm -hmm. where it's like. In the dark and like you're like you know some people might come to oh, no no yeah it was, it was like so right there like, center yeah. right yeah in, in the, and in we the come and we're supposed to go on and I think it was 11 to 12 spot I'm, I'm like I'm almost like almost confident it was 11 to it 12 was, it was. No, or but 1 to 2 but it was like somewhere around that time it wasn't too late it wasn't too early it, seriously it was like super good and there was you were with me and we have mm. video of that shit and, and I'll send you the fucking video no, stop, but some, some snippet of it so you can put it in this okay. I, I, no, no, yeah, yeah. I actually have it, it I, have it I remember it. that so night very clearly I still have no, that. but, but my, like what I was talking about like it was crazy that we got booked on a Friday night to play on, on Saturday like you know, Sunday. oh yeah, yeah. yeah like Sunday. night before we got. Oh, it was Sunday. It was Sunday. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So so, so like Sunday, we were oh, fucking. Yeah, it was the closing night. Yeah, yes. We, we, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Long okay. So so I take this fucking back now. It was not eleven to twelve. It was not one to two. Probably two it was to three. three to four. Three to four. It was yeah. close. Clo closing. Was fucking closing. Yeah. Do you we close the EDC? Do you remember? We close the fucking EDC and we come there. Let me just say this: we come there, and. There's some asshole mixing and this fucking dick ass like, no, I don't want to get off. I don't want to get off. Yeah. And we had to go chase the people that help, you know, want us to come and play to book us, the owners, all this shit to, to come up there to like get this fucking asshole off. I don't even know who the fuck this asshole is. It was high as fuck. But anyways, finally got him off to, to, cause he just was a buddy. And you know how sometimes it goes like, oh, I'm a buddy. He's going to fucking oh, yeah. do my shit. No, hours set. dude, you got to get off. So it took some time to get convinced even from the guy that Phil and the guys to get him off the thing. And then we get on and we start DJing and the shit, the crowd, first we have our friends. There's like two, three rows of people. By the time we're done, there's like 10, 12 rows. People are crazy yelling because we are literally, we're last stage to keep going. They, cause they have control of all the other stages where they shut the music down and we're still fucking yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still going. We're the last stage on the EDC yeah. playing music and they're like, stop the music. We're like, okay. And, and, and also, <laughs> like, I remember, like, we, like, around that time, we just started working with our friends, uh, Split Breed and, uh, like, the big yeah, thing, we yeah, we're big, yeah, we, 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 we like we, we did like a couple of tracks with them, like some remixes. He, you did the that song, um, uh, uh, Sirens. Sirens. Yeah, yeah. So Sirens, so yeah, so so yeah. we brought we brought them out, like and you know they they bring like a lot of energy, yeah, like, we and, were, like yeah, like, like I think that was yeah, it was cool. they came out like it was it was a big moment like for them yeah. and for us, and you know we've been. We were still friends, you know, but that was like a big it was moment, a very yeah. big moment because we yeah. we actually brought them out. But I remember yeah. being on stage. Kalani and Tawi were there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Looking, looking back, I saw, uh, I saw just like a full, like the the, the actual main stage at EDC was just twenty thousand people. It was mind blowing. That was right <laughs> next to the stage we played. Yeah, yeah. But I was gonna say, as soon as we walk, like as soon as we were about to play, uh, the guy playing before us, 
he had, like he was going to announce us. So he asked me, what's the name to announce? But, but the way he asked it, he asked, what's my name? So I said, basis. I didn't, I didn't know he was asking like, what's the name, the next name of the DJ. So he's like, next up it's, it's basis on the decks. And it was, it just kind of fucked up the shit because it was all yeah. three of us. But then, but then the way the set ended was very traumatic. Oh yeah, it was. It, it, it was well you guys <laughs> so this, I don't know okay, what happened. Okay, okay, I was okay. the only one up there he left he took, he you took left. off you, I, no, you were staying I left. with the yeah, I you was took the, off the I think I was the only skipping. one up there no no there was you something I was skipping there was something food on the was, CD yeah, yeah. This shit literally there was like a little crumbs on the, song, on the CD Oh my! Uh, but, okay, I, yeah, I yeah, was yeah, DJing yeah. EDC uh, and the songs were skipping. So the worst thing, were, the worst thing that could happen. But at least <laughs> it happened at the end of the set. At least it, it happened fun. when you weren't on stage. Yes. Yeah, so so, so we started playing the last song and like you know the CD starts skipping because there's a piece of food on, like on the CDJ. Yeah. And I'm like, we're oh using shit, CDs guys. Okay, if that tells you anything, yeah. we're still using. Oh CDs. shit, like I'm. I'm out of here. Like <laughs> I'm done. But you guys pulled it off. It, you know, actually, it turned no, out. No, you were laughing at us because it was skipping. <laughs> you were like in the front row laughing. Anyway, like on that note, I want to. I want. I want to end this. I want to finish it. We're, anyways, right? we're gonna actually finish like this. Uh, because Slavko's gonna be in town, so we're probably gonna have him like again. Like, well, no, I can just be you, and you, if you, yeah, you yeah. leave. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave, but <laughs> well, I can just go and sit and be. I'll be dragging show for the rest yeah, of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, well, I th- no, I think you, 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 and, like, yeah. I think we can and pause Enzo, it. You can, you can no, we can pause it and then yeah. No, we don't. No, let's not pause. No, no, no. let's hey. not pause. I'll well, I'm gonna edit. No, no, no. And cut it out. No, let's listen because because uh, we we don't want our episodes more than like 20, 30 minutes. So you guys can actually film an, like another one uh-huh. as a different episode. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever happens, I'll figure out. Yeah. All right, so we can just can we just record the ending so you can mix it in? What's the ending? So we're going to leave you guys uh, with uh, one of the new tracks. Um, it's it's actually a remix of uh, one of... doesn't want me to be. It, it, it's a remix <laughs> by uh, by our friend Travis. Travis. Shout oh, out. Shit. Of, uh, you guys going to get to hear what I haven't heard yet? Yeah, it's going to be our next release uh, of the song, yeah, uh, Out of Your Mind. Snippet of it at the end of the podcast. So this is Out of Your Mind, yeah. remix. Yeah. Check it out. Out of your mind.